Hi everyone, it's April here, and a while back I made these really fun cacti from felt um, from a tutorial by Casey Golden that I'll link below, and I could only find these pots here. They're not that great looking, so I thought I would spruce them up and give them a little bit of a decoration. So to start with, I'm just going to give them a bit of an underpainting using this regular Winsor Newton um, white acrylic paint. And it turns out I probably wouldn't need to use this underpainting because the paints I use for the overpainting are actually pretty good. But I did this anyway because it was my first time painting anything other than a canvas, I'm pretty sure in my entire life. I used these paper artsy paints which I love so much. I only have a few colours of them and I matched all the colours up with my polychromous pencils so I could do some little designs. So the designs that I decided to do were places that you find cactuses. So I did kind of Aztec, I looked at Aztec designs, um, Mexican, Mayans, kind of that area, just for different patterns. And then I decided to do a little bit of research first because I'm not really, I'm not really hip with, with, with patterns. Is that what the kids say? Do they say hip? Uh, I'm not really a pattern expert. So I decided to do a little bit of research. And a lot of the patterns are really simple. They use lots of triangles and zigzags and kind of this square step-in pattern. So I found that was quite similar in all of them. And I was just looking at the colours and seeing the colour combos that I liked. So like I said, the um, cacti that I made were from a Casey Golden tutorial, which I'll pop below. And they were so fun to make, I would definitely suggest it to anyone even if you've never done like sewing I've never done sewing before I can mend a button but that's about it but they were really really fun to do and this pattern is my favorite the like triangly diamond one so these didn't take long to do I just kind of went on Pinterest and found a whole bunch and basically just copied them And then at the end, I jot down all of the um, main shapes using all the patterns. So diamond triangle, that step shape, zigzag, lines. And then I decided to try to design them. So I drew out these little pots on my sketchbook and then I just kind of flipped backwards and forwards to look at the patterns and then just drew drew on the pots. I mean, it's pretty simple really. Lots of zigzags and triangles. And I'll tell you a secret, uh, drawing on these pots on the paper was a lot easier than painting on the pots. Painting on a round surface with a tiny brush, I, I eventually found out, why well, I very quickly found out, isn't easy. Especially when you have like gigantic clumsy hands. I mean, my hands aren't that gigantic, but they're definitely clumsy. So I'm not sure if you guys like seeing um, videos like this, like little crafty videos or just sketchbook videos or painting. So let me know if you like this kind of stuff because I know my channel sometimes gets a little bit um, eclectic because I like lots of different stuff, but hey, it's fun, right? So then I put these little faces on and I decided to go with like these little cute faces because I've been watching a lot of um, YouTubers that do cute stuff lately and I don't want to copy them, but at the same time, I kind of want to copy them. So uh, I picked three little cute faces and then I also picked three patterns. And then the part which I thought was going to be the most fun but it wasn't because it was very difficult, painting the pots. So I had two colours that weren't opaque, they were translucent, which was the yellow and the red. 
so I mixed them up with this stone color so I made it a little bit more pastel -y and also obviously you can see it a lot better because the translucent one just literally is like a sheen of color so you'd probably have to do about 750 coats give or take 100 or so but this seemed to work quite well I did end up doing about two coats on each of them and the whole process took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. I thought it was going to be like a nice afternoon, just like chilling out, painting pots, but the whole process took so long because I edited out a lot of it, but I have I made so many mistakes like just making lines too thick or smudging it or just getting really frustrated and being heavy handed, so there was a lot of overpainting. And I decided to do, um, I didn't show it, but I decided to do three colours for all the pots. And then, so there's like this bone, this green, and then this dark grey. And then all the pots are the same colour, and then I kind of used three or four more other colours to accent them. So I didn't want it to be too crazy, I just wanted them to kind of like all have the same colour palette. So these are the paper artsy paints that I showed earlier. Um, get them from a website in the UK. You can get them on Amazon, but I think they're a little bit more expensive. But if you live in the UK, or if you don't mind shipping costs, I would definitely recommend them. I first heard about them from Bybun on she's on YouTube and also on Twitch sometimes, and they are so fun. I only have like nine colours, but I asked for some more for Christmas, so hopefully I get some more. And they're just really smooth, and they go on really nicely on paper and turns out our flower pots they do quite they do go quite nicely on them as well and I'm sure lots of other materials so if you're into painting or crafts paper arty paints I can definitely give them a thumbs up so one of the things I did find out about these paints with that under painting of the white acrylic was the white acrylic and these paints kind of didn't really mix with each other and I think it activated the white paint underneath so it was a bit tacky so there's a lot of texture in the pots you'll probably see in some of the close-ups that aren't blurry there's a lot of texture because you can see all of the lines of the paintbrush and where the paint kind of got tacky and then wasn't smooth but it's it's got that rustic feel that i was um not going for but i got it now so it's fine and you can see kind of like sometimes i just gave up like i tried to do a line around this um pot here you can see the the, the dark grey one both of them and I don't know how people draw lines especially around a circular object so I just kind of gave up on some of them and I was like eh it'll be fine it's rustic it's homemade you know so you can see maybe from the previous shot I have gone over the red and the yellow so they're a little bit stronger I did have to do two coats on pretty much all the paint which is why it took forever but I watched a lot of YouTube while I did this um, I've been getting into watching a girl called Ellis Woolley I'll leave her below I think I linked her in my last video as well um, I just found her like last week and she does art vlogs and art videos and she also has an Etsy shop so she does like studio vlogs and I was literally watching her all day. I think I watched probably six hours. So I'm not a stalker, but I kind of feel like one. And then this is the first pot all finished. So I'm just putting on my little face. I actually didn't do these pots. I did them all together. So I did like one color on all of them, but I edited it so you can see one pot from start to finish and my hands go in through a state of like clean to completely not clean throughout. So I apologize how messy my nails and my hands are. And that's the first little part. And then I did speed up the next two because I understand that it might be a little 
boring to watch someone paint a pot. I'm not really sure. If you're enjoying it, I'm I'm glad that you're enjoying it. So let me know because I mean, if I was to watch someone, I think I would enjoy watching them paint the pot. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever seen anyone paint the pot before. Uh, I'm watching myself right now and I'm like, well, it's not that exciting to be honest. This is an example of painting a line and then by the time you get around to the other side, you realise you've made it thicker. So you have to go around like 700 times more. I really love the colour combo of the these colours though, like the, the yellow, and the green and that bone colour, they go so nicely together. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much it, just uh, painting pots, not really sure what else to chat about. It is a week before Christmas, I have brought all my presents, so that's good. I don't really buy for a lot of people because my family live all over the country, so I literally just buy presents for my boyfriend and then his, his parents I guess. But yeah, that's it, a uh, pretty cheap Christmas overall. We did have a budget this year because we are travelling next year to South Africa. But I definitely went over the budget because I love buying presents. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to ask for this year either because I've had so much arty supplies and that's kind of the only thing that I do right now apart from running. So I don't really need anything more arty so I asked for some more of these paints just because I love them. But I took a photo of all my sketchbooks the other day and I have like 15 empty sketchbooks that I need to fill up. And I have new pencils, new paints, I have inks and I just don't need more stuff. So, I, you know when you have stuff but you just want to buy stuff? Just because stationery and art supplies are so much fun. I swear it's an addiction. And then this is the second face. I tried to give this one like a little grumpy, sleepy look. I definitely did that mouth crooked so I actually, fill it, I actually fix it in the end. And then on to the last part. So this one is pretty similar. Um, all of them are pretty similar. They have, have triangles and zigzags and stuff. And you can see there my paintbrush is quite small and it doesn't really get very smooth lines. So all the triangles and everything's a little bit lumpy. But it does dry quite nicely. And then once you have the second coat on you can't really notice. And you'll see this lovely out of focus shot here that completely wasn't intended. Um, I've just been learning how to use my camera. I've only had it for seven months. I definitely should know how to use it by now. Um, but I've only just figured out how to do like auto man no, manual focus. So I tried to do manual focus on this one uh, to kind of like always have the pot focused. But then you, I have to kind of like put the pot closer to my head or away from my head to get all the details in. So most of these shots are a little bit fuzzy. So I'm just hoping it kind of goes towards the ambiance of the whole video and isn't too annoying to watch. So just finishing up this last one, I've got to add a little few more details on it and then pop the face on. And then next week I think I'm going to have one more video out one more video out before Christmas hopefully and then after Christmas I've got my 2019 goals which I'm really looking forward to because I haven't really had any goals this year I've just last I mean the first year I started drawing I had the goals to draw and learn how to draw faces so I was really focused on faces and then when that challenge finished I was a little bit floundering and I didn't really know what to do so this year I've felt a little bit lost like I've been doing I've still been drawing and stuff and I did all my animals for October which was really fun but apart from that I kind of feel like I don't really have a direction so next year I'm one of my, my goal is to get a direction so I've got kind of like a, a little plan that I'm gonna put together in a video which I think would be really fun to look back on and see how I have failed or hopefully succeeded
And we're just finishing off this last little pot here. Give you this one a little smile, a crooked little smile. I do love these cute little faces, but I always feel like I'm copying people because it's not my natural way of doing anything. Like I would never do a cute face just naturally. And that's my box. So I popped the cactus back in and they're on the windowsill. They look a lot nicer than the old ones and I really actually love how they turned out. They're a bit wibbly wobbly. They don't really, they're not very professional looking but I think they're really cute. So that was that video. It was a little bit long. Hopefully you guys weren't too bored and if you made it to the end, well done. I will uh, catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.